What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D text in After Effects. Now just before getting into this tutorial, like I say, this is a request tutorial as you see on the screen right now, I got this asked me in the comments. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now you'll notice he also says how to make 3D text with smoke effect in Adobe After Effects. I'm going to be showing you how to make the 3D text first and then we'll get onto the smoke effect. So here's After Effects and of course the first thing we need to do is come to Composition, New Composition and then from here choose the preset you would like. I'm going to have it at 1080 and I'm just going to select OK. And now this is where we begin to make the 3D text. First things first, I just want um, a nice green background so I can see what I'm going to be doing. And just click off this and we'll close this. Now the next thing we're going to do is add some text. So the way we do this is come up here where it says horizontal type tool. And then just draw out a box where we'll put the text. So I'm going to put casual savage here since my channel is called casual savage of course. And if you want to change the size of it, highlight it. And you'll see here, just slide it up or down. Simple as that. So I'm going to keep it about there. I'm then going to come to the move tool and then I'm just going to position it to the middle. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually go to the effects and presets. I see a lot of tutorials showing you that you have to copy and paste it, but for me it's a bit annoying and time consuming. So we're actually going to come here to effects and presets, you're going to type in shatter and this is what you should get. Now you can either drag it straight onto the text like this or you can drag it onto the text down here. Completely up to you which one you do and I'm going to drag it on and this is what you should get. Now yes, your text is completely shattered, but we're going to fix it. So first things first, over here where it says shatter, we want to come to view and change it to rendered. You can see we can now see our text, that is good. You can now come to shape and press the down arrow, and this is where we'll make it 3D. So where it says pattern, you want to put this to custom, and yes, it's got off screen, we'll fix it. And then where it says custom shatter map, you want to press this down arrow and select what your text was called. Mine is called casual savage, so it's back like that. Now the part we make it 3D. So it's actually this right here, extrusion depth, and simply get this slider and slide it to the right. Your text will slowly become 3D as you'll see on the screen. And you can just put it to whatever you like. Of course you go too far, it won't look the best. So for me, I like it, yeah, I like it like that. As you can see, we have created a 3D text very, very simply. Now at the moment, if you're going to make this into a video for, for example, an intro, if we play through this, it's going to shatter. Yes, it looks pretty good, so you could just use this as an intro if you'd like. However, if you don't want it to shatter, then you'll need to come to Force, and where it says Strength, double click this, and type in 0. Press Enter, and now you'll see it shouldn't shatter. But it's falling. Okay, so... That is supposed to happen by the way. Uh, you need to come to force 2 and you also need to change the strength to 0. And then on the physics, just press this down arrow and where it says gravity, put it to 0. Now if we play this through from the beginning and press play, the text is going to stay put just like that. You can see no problem at all. Very simple to fix and we've just created 3D text. Now if you wanted to change the text color, come to your text layer then come to character over here, and then you'll see this right here. So change this color to whatever color you want. So red, you can have pink, blue, cyan, green, yellow, any color you want to. You can just select it from here very, very simply. Can't have green because of course it will just be hiding, but we pick a cyan color, press OK. That is what it looks like. Now from here, if you want to make more changes to your text to make it a little bit better with the lighting, click on the text, come to the effects control, and then you can see right here it says lighting and material. So if we come to lighting, you can see you have a bunch of different things you can mess with. Personally, I wouldn't mess with them, but again, you can if you want to or need to. And then the material itself, you can come here and put the diffuse reflection up and you'll see it actually makes quite a big difference. Just like that. And of course the highlight sharpness if you want it on or not. So that is how you make the 3D text. Now I'm going to be getting onto the smoke part. So I have this preset right here, or this video, which is smoke. Now a download link to this will be in the description. 
and I'm going to drag it onto my timeline like this. Now, of course, the background color is green. That is known as shape layer one. We want our atmosphere zero one above it. That way we can see it just like that. And now I'm going to stretch it out. Now for this, I want it to be covering the entire text and going across the screen. So I'm just going to uh, position this very quickly just by spreading it out like this. And then I want the smoke to be on line with the text like so. It needs to come out a little bit more. There we go. And now if we play this through from the beginning, it might lag, but this is what we get. It's actually okay. There you go. You can see we've got 3D text and we have smoke. Just like that, it's very, very simple to do. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what we're posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post four times a week. And finally, check out my Snapchat, which is sure to do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.